Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and our Sunday evening blog. Okay, well, yes, we're a couple of days late, but before we even start the blog, let me start by saying this. Uh, to all of you out there who follow this humble little shop and subscribe to us, we want to wish you our absolute best for you and yours. Any of you who have any family down in Florida right now who just went through the unjoyful experience of Irma, uh, that's where I was Sunday night along with many of you. I was tracking the storm, I was either texting or we were calling, we were checking on family and friends and in our case there's a lot of senior elderly individuals between my wife and I's family down there so we wanted to make sure that people were they were safe and they were free from harm and I'm sure that a lot of you were doing the same thing. So my mind really wasn't on my shop Sunday night, okay? But I knew that all of you would understand, and I certainly wanted to pay my respects to all of you and yours, because that's what we do up here, okay? And I know that the devastation down there, the loss of property and homes and belongings right now is catastrophic. However, I'm going to run this scenario by you, okay? If, if you happen to catch this video and you happen to be someone who lives in Florida, okay, and you've just been through this. If you look to your right and perhaps you see your wife or your missus, your significant other, okay, and then you look to your left and maybe you see your son and your daughter or your kids and one of them is holding the leash to the family pet, you know what I would call that gentleman? The wealthiest man on the planet, okay. We can replace the homes, the cars, it sucks. I'm not saying it doesn't. I've, I've been through some storm damage myself, however, you're one of the wealthiest people to be alive right now, to, to, have your, to have your wife and your children and your family, okay? So let's get on with the video. Alrighty, this week, what do we have for you? Alright, we got to crack the glasses on because we know that I'm getting old and going blind, alright? Inkscape, CAD software, and CNC. Well, we finally pulled off the Inkscape uh, article. I have been reading and reading and reading. And I can tell you that it is a very impressive, free, open source a piece of uh, graphic illustrator software, okay? I'm going to go a little bit off the blog. Okay, this week I will tell you this. The blog goes really, really in depth because what I wanted to cover really was the user interface. When you Turn Inkscape on, you're looking at a screen. Well, what are all the little icons? What are the toolbars? What is all that stuff and what does it do? Well, we went into the blog this week and we basically covered every icon, every item, every toolbar, and we gave a brief description. I am clearly not going to go over that right here, right now, because, yeah, we'd be here till the weekend. Okay. What is Inkscape? It's a free open source vector graphics illustration software. It uses, its uses are editing or creating vector graphic illustrations, logos, charts, diagrams, and really a whole lot more. Uh, the primary vector uh, file for Inkscape is SVG or scalable vector graphic. However, you can import and export so, so much more, all right? And I think that we can cover a lot of the big vector files with either EPS, our encapsulated postscript, PDF, for our portable document format. We can also, okay, its capabilities are close to those of its counterparts, its paid premium counterparts, Adobe Illustrator, Coral Draw, Freehand, and another one that I, I read about, Xana X, which I've, I've never heard of. Okay? The one thing I'm also going to tell you. This article is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial of Inkscape. I use Inkscape to, to, to target key projects up here to do specific functions so I don't have to go out and buy something like Adobe Illustrator. It's not that I'm opposed to it, it's that I don't, one, I don't have the money, and two, I don't have the requirements for everything that Illustrator can do at its level. I'm capable of doing everything that I need with Inkscape, okay? And starting out in small shops on tight budgets, we all know that, you know, you're going to take the free stuff before you're going to go spend the money. Okay, 
<laughs> the blog is going to go in a little bit deeper here, like I said, to discuss what is CAD, what is CNC, how does Inkscape fall into place again. The article is going to discuss, now on Inkscape, whenever you open up any software, you have a UI, you have a user interface. There are five primary toolbars or five primary menu command bar functions in Inkscape. Uh, even when you go into the internet or you open up a piece of software, you'll see across the top, file, edit, view, and that would be a menu bar. Uh, there's a tool command bar, there's a primary command bar, a snap control uh, bar, a toolbox, color palette, there's a lot. And what we're going to do is, when we start, the, uh, we start the tutorials for a couple of specific key projects up here, we'll go a little bit more in depth over the user interface, what some of the different icons are, what they do, what their purpose and function are for, okay? And again, this is not by any means going to be a full tutorial on Inkscape. It's going to be specifically for the CNC group. And right now, some of you are saying, Steve, you've also shown us how to build and, and do projects within our, uh, our VCarve Pro or our CAD software. And yes, you can. However, there are guys in the group right now uh, that I've spoken with who are running like downloadable free CAD software so the limitations of that particular software I don't know I've never played with it but uh, Inkscape is going to be very handy for them because you may not have all the functionality in the free CNC software that you would have in a paid version of, of say you know Aspire or VCarve Pro or, or something along that lines okay so Stay tuned. Uh, we're going to catch you guys and uh, you ladies and gentlemen tomorrow for our, for our midweek shout out. I'll have a better game plan on what's going on, but uh, stay tuned. We've obviously got more to come. Uh, we've got some big announcements to make tomorrow, hopefully. So uh, I'll see everybody then. I hope you had a great weekend. You didn't chew the nails off too much. If uh, Again, if you had family and whatnot down in Florida. And uh, I do apologize, this is probably one of the more shorter videos that we're going to have for a Sunday blog. But, you know, we've all got, uh, we all had other things in our minds over the weekend. So, okay, everyone take care. As always, thank you so much again for your support, for following us between the blog, YouTube, social media. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone, we'll see you tomorrow for the midweek shout-out. Take care, bye-bye.